I'm going to show you how to create an org chart in PowerPoint using SmartArt. If you've never created an org chart and you're starting from scratch, you'll learn how. Or if you already have an org chart and you want to learn some cool editing tips and tricks, then check out this video. Org charts are a very important value-added document in your organization. And most likely someone is going to come and ask you for the or an updated org chart. So it's great to have one available. It's also a great tool to use during new hire orientation. So check it out. To create an org chart in PowerPoint, you can use SmartArt. Simply go to the Insert tab and select SmartArt. And your box will pop up. You just click on the Hierarchy section, and then you can choose from any of the formats that you like. I'm just going to use a standard one to show you a few quick things. It'll build a chart for you, and then all you have to do is click in the boxes and start typing. If you hit Enter, you can put a name underneath, put the job title, and a name underneath. If you want to start formatting, you can just click in the box, highlight the text. I like to make the job titles bold, and you can do that easily. Now you can click in the box and type there, or you can come over here to your text window and use these buttons as well. So if you click over here, uh, you can do the same thing. You have a COO, maybe a chief sales officer, and maybe a chief financial officer. Now, what you can do if you don't like the coloring, you just go up here to change colors and you can make them clear. Uh, you have different options up here that you can play around with, just plain black, uh, black text with clear background and blue borders, whatever you wanna do. You can play around with that and edit it as needed. Once you have your basics filled out, you can do one of two things. To add another box, let's say we're gonna add a couple of the direct reports under the CFO, you just hit enter, and it'll add another box. Every time you hit enter over here in the text window, it is going to add a new box, and then if you hit tab, it will make that box a direct report under the position above it. So uh, you could say the controller, and beneath them, you have a financial analyst. And maybe you have a payroll manager. Now you have three people and they are being listed down with a right hanging format. If you don't like that, all you have to do is click on the manager, go up here to layout. And this is under the smart art tools design area. You go to layout and then say you want it to be left hanging. You can do that. Or if you want just a standard, it'll start laying it out like that. Let's say that the CFO has an assistant. You can add a shape and select add assistant and it will add that assistant in there. Um, let's say they don't have an assistant, but they have a fourth person that reports under there. And let's say now we want that to look a little bit more like the both section so that we leave room over here so that we wanna add all of the direct reports that report to the chief sales officer. And to do that, we come over here and we can just hit enter and tab again. It'll automatically build and you can add more and more people that way. Now the org chart, the smart art org chart is smart. It will resize everything for you. So if you get to a point where you do need to make some edits, you can play around with the layout to make things fit, or you can also drag and make the chart itself bigger on the actual slide. So those are two things, couple easy things that you can do to create your own org chart. I know how difficult it can be to edit an org chart that's maybe you've inherited an org chart that you need to maintain and keep up. I have a, an example of an org chart here that I will share with you as I scroll down. You are free to download this if, if it will help you. It's a sample org chart that I have color coded to make it easy. If you have a rather large org chart with a number of different slides, what I like to do is go up to the main page of the org chart where you have 
all of the senior level administrators in the organization and I color code them by their divisional area so that as I scroll through, maybe it's a long PowerPoint slide, maybe you have many, many slides, you can see easily uh, if you know green is the financial people in the financial division. So that way you can kind of uh, color code it without it being obnoxiously color coded anyway. And then each slide there has an example of how you could lay out if you have multiple people uh, in those different divisions and you want to see all of them, there's just different examples of chart layouts that you may find helpful that you can edit and use if needed. And just a few more things I wanted to show you how you can create a new slide easily. You just come over here, right click and duplicate your slide. That'll add another slide in there for you and you can simply edit and start um, going from there. Now this slide, you'll notice I have a box that was drawn in above the smart art box. So if you don't need that, all you have to do is select it delete it and delete the line, then you have the smart art tool there. And the reason I do that is you'll notice once you start working with these slides, there are things that start to get a little crazy, especially if you have a lot of people in the division, you may need to draw some boxes on there. But again, if you ever need any help, just leave a comment below the video and let me know, I'll be glad to help. And then one final thing I'll show you how to do is just a quick how to delete a box. You simply select it if you no longer need it and then hit delete and it goes away. And then the chart resizes for you. Once you're all done with your org chart, you can save it as a PDF. You simply go up here to file, hit print, and make sure that the printer option is the one that will print to a PDF on your computer and hit print and it lets you title the document and hit save. Now let's go back up here in our file folder and there it is as a PDF. Org charts are living documents and by that I mean as soon as you have it updated something will happen and you'll need to update it again the next day. So when I publish mine, I publish mine by saying it's a draft version in the month that I publish it. To get you started, I created a PowerPoint template that you can access in a link below in the description. Visit my website SharonSmithHR.com and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.